All right. Just gonna add a little bit of Living Corpse X to the water. Stir lightly. And wait for the water to boil. What's up, guys? It's me, Zimzilla, back at it again once again. And, well, today, today, <laughs> I ran into something. Well, in a way, it's angering, but in a way, it's not. It's actually very funny, and in other ways, sad and pathetic. But, as you can see from the images here, I got a strike on my channel. And I was like, hmm, I got a strike. And then I checked, and it says, oh, it's a str uh, strike on the Velociraptor for you video. And it's not like... It wasn't even one of the newer videos that I had done um, commentary on, like any of the Gora Realm videos or any of that. It's the very first um, Lost Raptor 4 You video. And I was like, oh man, I'm like, why did it get flagged? I mean, after so long, like the video is so old. I like, bruh, that video is so, so old. I mean, it it has 424 views, which it's kind of sad that's deleted now. But um, yeah, it's so old. It was from 2016. It's from 2016, and I'm like, what? What's it getting flagged for? And it's harassment and bullying. Ooh. So I check into YouTube's policies and harassment and cyberbullying policies, and harassment may include. Abusive videos, comments, or messages, revealing someone's personal information, malicious recording someone without their consent, deliberate posting content in order to humil humiliate someone, I uh, just stuttered, making hurtful negative comments slash videos about another person, unwanted sexualization, blah de blah. So, in the intent of my video was always a somewhat lighthearted but detailed response to Velociraptors for You's video, which was titled My Response to Goji Fan 93. So this is a response to a response. Um, abusive videos, comments, and messages. It is excessively vague what that means. But it's almost it's pretty much when you define what abusive means, it's pretty much exactly the same as making hurtful negative comments slash videos about another person. However, I did not reveal for use information. The clip that is in his video is public and is actually a still from his original video. And I'm not showing social security numbers, passport numbers, or anything of the sort. Um, we're maliciously recording them without their consent. I actually did not get any clips from his original video. It's a fully just a still image on my original video, which I would say, oh, look at back my video, but I can't because it's deleted because of the strike. Um, deliberate posing content in order to humiliate. No, there is humor there, but it was never in the intent to humiliate him. It was in the intent to respond to him because I found a lot of what he said in his original video to be a little slanderous towards a general, well, fan base in his case, because he's talking about you Godzilla fans. And I, again, I wish I could show the video because he, because in his original video, actually, what I will do is I will link Velociraptor for You's original video down below because a lot of his language that was used in his video was very general, say you guys, you people, stuff like that. And it was never with the intent to humiliate him or hurt him. It was the intent to um, respond to him. However, give it my own flair, jokes, yada yada. But. It's even more interesting because I did try I did try to repeal my thing. However, I was doing the when I took the screenshot of the of the repeal, it sent my unfinished repeal. So, my full message for the repeal was the video was designed as a response to the original video. The video's title also has an outdated subtitle to this. The subtitle is used to refer to any discussion or debate I have had with the people I have done responses to that has ended and I along with these people are on good terms. There is another video on my channel titled Channel Update Velociraptor for You slash Versus Series slash Other Videos. In this video, I talk about a Skype conversation with the user Velociraptor for You and the peaceful resolution and understanding we had come to. The intent of this flag was to shut down my channel after I had messaged a user insulting his subscribers and accusing them of not caring about rape and trying to make them feel guilty. Now, you'll probably be saying, 
But Zim, what are you talking about? What do you mean someone did this as a false flag and an intent to shut your channel down? Well, my dear viewer, that's where we get into the video. And that is Living Corpse X's video. And it's titled, The Time My Subscribers Didn't, or The Time My Subscribers Refused to Fight Rape. Now let's get into this, shall we? Now, Living Corpse X, after a certain nerfy boy roasted him for pretty much freaking out because some people only care about something that they really enjoy and they like the content he, he's gone downhill as of late and anytime he gets to say how bad his subscribers are or how terrible the Godzilla fan base is he gets the opportunity to do so um, a few videos that I could think off the top of my head that he's done this are of course um, Godzilla is awesome, but his fans suck. I'm only showing this picture right here from Nerfman's original video because he's actually deleted that video. But I will have Nerfman's video in the lit in the description so that you can watch it and watch him commentate on that original video, as well as um, the well, of course, the time my subscribers refused to fight rape. <laughs> Does Godzilla have monopoly on the Daikaiju genre in the West, which is pretty much him blaming the Godzilla fans for not knowing what Gamera or any other kaiju stuff is, which is why we don't have any better kaiju stuff. Caring less and less about the Daikaiju fan base, because there he pretty much just whines about, oh, people were mean to me on the internet, and why don't Daikaiju anime video games and their fan bases overlap more often? And he's pretty much generally saying, oh, I saw a few guys talk bad about anime therefore the majority of the fan base doesn't like anime and uh you guys are terrible just like my subscribers and this is i did another video which was um living corpses jihad on the godzilla fan base and that was in a response to the godzilla does godzilla have a monopoly on the daikaiju genre in the west video and i feel like i have the opportunity to do another video like this again as showed here and the first point he brings up is that he's angry that his well this isn't the first thing he brings up but he gets angry that his video about kaiju got more videos than or got more views than a video by penlive.com which covered the same topic he did in this video that no one watched or really even heard about and of course the video is about um doing the backlog on rape kits and trying to get these cases solved but this should also be known that Penn Live, he said, oh, it's professional, so of course it would get a lot of views, but it doesn't even have a lot of views. My kaiju video got more views than it. Penn Live is a local Pennsylvania, um, Pennsylvania based YouTube channel because I went on their site. They're based in Pennsylvania. A lot of their news from their own site and on their channel is about what's going on in the local Pennsylvania community and saying, oh, well, they're sound professional, so therefore their video should get more views. That's stupid. And. I did go into um I did go on to their YouTube channel and look at and see what videos got the most views from their channel and they do have a few K views on some of their videos but a lot of them are based out of their community or related to the president because there's a few Pence, a few Trump ones or it's like this happened in Pennsylvania, how is this? And it's like really your your argument and a basis for your anger is that and I'm put I I putting I'm putting my hands here putting my hands up and quoting because it's a professional sounding YouTube channel it should have gotten more views, and this is also forgetting that Pen Live uploads almost every few hours. I mean when I'd even check their YouTube channel they had just posted a few videos like one a few minutes ago another 15 minutes ago, and then that was like 15 hours ago. So they pump out content pretty regularly. And for most people who are subscribed to YouTube, they're subbed to like over 20 different channels and you're expecting them to watch every single one of these videos, like every single one of these videos and comment on every single one of these videos. But really it's one of the bases that you think this is important, this should get the most attention despite not everyone going on YouTube because they want to be informed about something or raise awareness for something because at the end of the day, a lot of what YouTube it was made for was made for the purposes of entertaining people that was what a lot of old youtube stuff was about and you sitting there and saying oh it it should get more attention well what about any other sites 
that talks about these kinds of things. And I'll get into that later. But he also says that, oh, um, even YouTube thinks my channel is about Godzilla. That's so stupid. And that's to imply that, oh, some guy at YouTube is recommending you these videos because they think your channel is Godzilla. And let me actually even demonstrate what YouTube's algorithm and suggested videos do. So let's get into that. Now, the information I am getting this from in terms of how the suggested videos and the discovery algorithm work are from the YouTube Academy, the YouTube Creator Academy, with the videos being the algorithm, how YouTube search and discovery works, and how YouTube suggested videos work. Now, suggested videos work with what view, uh, how many views ha or viewers have watched the video before, related topics, past watch history. Suggested videos usually come from the channel you're currently watching, which is why your other kaiju video is suggested aside one of your other videos because even then when i went back to looking at his video um that i'm doing commentary on it was for um it was one of his h doom videos that was recommended so really it's very very random but almost always the next autoplay is going to be from the same channel very rarely does it um, happen to be from a different channel and if it's from a different channel it's about almost exactly the same topic and with playlist cards and end screens that like when you're recommending another video that's usually the video that ends up in the autoplay feature as well or if you're in a playlist of course you're going to go down the playlist and if oh youtube thinks my channel is a godzilla channel you have a a playlist with over a hundred videos about godzilla daikaiju battle royale and you're trying to tell me that part of the algorithm isn't going to think, hmm, maybe we should recommend more Godzilla videos to him or anyone else who's watching his content because he seems to have a lot of videos with Godzilla in the title. Which brings me over to the algorithm. The discovery algorithm is what it's looking for your perceived interest with data they recover. This data includes titles, thumbnails, descriptions, viewer perception so what they think you're viewing what parts of the video are being watched so that includes words what's being said in the video itself the likes and dislikes that you have your comments your previously watched videos your um how much time you're watching videos and what you don't watch so what you ignore and the algorithm is, is designed to keep giving you what they think you are enjoying so essentially if you don't like a certain channel but you're continually commenting or viewing their content because you're responding back and forth because you'll get views if someone comes back to respond to your video from comments and comment threads. So you could be recommended a bunch of videos from someone you don't like but you were actively arguing with over or across other videos of theirs. And even for an example, let's look at my own recommended homepage. Um, I have seven Dark Souls videos because I was watching some Dark Souls videos from both uh, Sunlight Blade and Saints Riot last night because I was playing some Dark Souls 2 and I was listening to Dark Souls content while playing Dark Souls. A Bloodborne video by Generation Hollow. I was watching Generation Hollow before I even found out I had a strike on my channel because I was looking at it on my phone. Um, one anime video because I was looking at some different anime stuff. Um, I was looking at a few different series that um, someone had recorded. And I can't name all of them, but I got one recommended video. A Smash video by EW Network. I'm sub to EW, by the way. And I was looking at some Smash videos on Ridley beforehand. So um, it would make sense that someone I'm subscribed to who has some Smash content, I get recommended some Smash content. And the newest Death Battle, which I'm going to probably watch after this. And I pretty much almost only go to Screw Attack because of their Death Battles, because they are pretty entertaining. So, of course, it's going to recommend me Death Battle. And I know I only showed this picture here. However, if I had gone down, it would have shown me some of the Living Corpses videos because I was looking at a lot of his content in preparation for this video. Um, some more of Saints Riot's content, uh, a little bit of Sunlight Blades, and even more of the Death Battles. And even looking here on my subscriptions, I have over 627 other people I'm subbed to, and I'm not looking at every single one of their videos every single day. That would be impossible. But at the time, Howard Dare was streaming, J Blackmail, um, another Souls YouTuber, Saints Riot's there, TFM's there, Jay Lee's there, Darkside Royalty, DHT comments. None of them are Godzilla YouTubers. But I was, um, around Thursday last week, I was looking at one of Dylan's Blood Sports videos. Um, I was looking at Darkside Royalty's Legacy of Onyx video a few days ago. I was on one of um, Jay Lee's streams that he was doing with uh, his viewers. 
responding to a video, kind of like what I'm doing right now. And um, I watch TFM almost daily whenever he uploads. And like I said with Saints Riot, J Blackmail is also a Souls YouTuber. Was watching some of his content too, but I was watching more of Saints, so that's why Saints got recommended to me. And Dare is streaming, and if you're streaming, you're usually at the top of the subscription feed. So that's how that works. And to even assume that, oh, it's just because they think I'm a Godzilla channel. You have plenty of reason. The algorithm has plenty of reason to believe that you're a Godzilla channel. I mean, a lot of your videos are Godzilla related and your top viewed videos are Godzilla related. And try to say, oh, it's stupid because I'm not a Godzilla channel. My content is for everyone, as he said in his video that he had deleted. And let's even take a look at his videos, his top recommended videos here, shall we? But let's see here. Out of the top 18 videos on his channel, seven of them, seven of them aren't Battle Royale related. And his second and third top videos are Cog Skull Island and Pacific Rim related. Oh, oh wait. I thought your narrative was is that your fans only cared about Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale, which is why you then pull up Godzilla Daikaiju Battle Royale in your video because you think that's all your fans care about. And I mean, you could say, oh, well, his top video of all time is a Daikaiju Battle Royale video. Yeah, it is. And it's much older, which means it's going to accumulate more views from people who aren't subbed, who are subbed, as opposed to the other two videos who are far, far younger than that video. And are superseded by a ton of Daikaiju Royale content, but are still the second and third top video on his channel. So that narrative and that argument of yours is stupid. It really is. And to say, oh, all they care about is Daikaiju Battle Royale. Again, it's so ridiculous. But let's get into his demographic and how his video probably wasn't even recommended or looked at by most of the people on his channel. Okay, off the top of my head, I could list a bunch of different places that any one of his subscribers, if they're an adult or a teenager, could have seen this information and have gone to the petition another way than his video. So, let's begin, shall we? There's Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest, Change.org, email notifications from anywhere or Change.org itself because as someone who is on Change.org here and there, I get email notifications from them, Fox News, CNN, or any other local news site, big news site, or blog. And you're expecting everyone, all your subscribers, and you say, oh, not all of them, but I expect some of them. But you're expecting, pretty much you are saying you're expecting all of them to watch your four minute video, uh, give you views, just so you can have the knowledge that your video brought this to their attention. When they could have seen it faster from any other place than your video on YouTube. And you've even said you're not that big. So what makes you think that you were the, that you would have been the first person they would have seen this from? I mean, are you assuming that all your adult subscribers don't look at the news, aren't a part of change.org, don't get emails, anything like that? And you say, oh, most of my subs are adults. That's another point he brings up because in his argument he's saying, oh, the fact that most of my subscribers are children is false. Um, as far as you know, because most of people on YouTube are anonymous, not everyone posts who they are on YouTube. You could say you're a 50 year old man. And you could be some 13 year old in your basement trolling people, which is something you hate more than rapist, apparently, as you've said in your video. And let's just be very general in a sense here. Let's just say three fourths of your subs are adults and one fourth are children who are under 19. I'm not including 18 year olds because we're still the 18 year olds still kind of kids. But let's just say that. Let's just say that, but let's just say another fourth. So one more fourth of the original three fourths are teens. So like 18, 19, well, 19, early 20, stuff like that. So your half of your subscriber base is over 30. Let's just say that are, are adults. That means you're pretty much you're saying you want at least 1,815 of your subs to have viewed, liked, commented, and shared your video. This doesn't account for inactive users. Uh, the fact is I don't know what your cuts and demographic are, so I can't say for certain who, like what your age group is, but I'm being very general in this sense. 
or people seeing it from a far more influential place than you. But you you don't see this it, it pretty because pretty much in your own eyes, if everyone else, not one of the 90 who viewed it, and since they didn't comment either, pretty much anyone besides that one person who commented to them, like you've said in your little comment here, good, they should feel guilty because they're awful people. They left to meet several others for our families falling apart, and they show their true colors by not even saying anything about the rape video. Half my subs are adults, so the children excuse is not valid. Yeah, um, how about if that's such a big point against your channel, because maybe it looks like that, why don't you actually show your demographics? Because I know for a fact I can, I can look up what my demographics for my channel are in terms of age, supposed age, as well as where they're from, supposedly. So let's see it then, if you're so content about more than half your subs being adults, quote unquote. And again, what makes you think that you would have been the first person to, for them to have seen it and not Facebook? Or not to mention, what about any other person who isn't sub to you who saw the video and just viewed it and it's like, oh, I'm not sub to this guy. I'll do the thing, but I'm not gonna comment. I'm not subscribed to him. Your, your argument has so many holes in it and it's only held up by your trauma, your, I was going to say tremendous and massive at the same time. Your tremassive, your tremassive ego. Like literally, your ego is the only thing that's holding up your argument because they show their true colors by not saying anything about the video. I mean, the videos are like from 2017 and you're bringing it up in 2018. The, the video is almost a year old and you're trying to say that, oh, look at my, look how bad my subscribers are. And the fact that you still have over 3K is astonishing in my opinion. And that's probably because you have so many inactive subs and people are rewatching your videos because they actually like you, but you still trash them because, well, you're a garbage person to your fans who, yeah, I mean, I call my fans. You say, oh, don't call them my fans. They're my subs. Yeah, I would love for you to see, to point out all of the 3,000 people who you're sub to have said a mean thing to you on your channel is ridiculous. And what I think is also kind of funny is the fact that he has, in this video right here, YouTube drama, he talks about, oh, it was a joke. I, I did the whole review. It was an April Fool's Day joke, and I'm getting flagged for it. Yeah, so pretty much you say it's a joke that you made a video burning a Godzilla 98 disc and it's your property and you can do whatever you want with it. However, you flag my video in response to the Lost Raptor for you for harassment and bullying when all of it was always with the intent for humor as well as a response video. And you also don't watch my other video that I mentioned, the uh, update video with the which talked about for you and the reason people would say well what about um there's that one zilla guy in your comments who trolls you sometimes could he could have been the one who uh, sent the video no he doesn't like for you because the fact is that for you likes the japanese godzilla so it's not him and if so he's already he could he said he's done it before it wouldn't have taken this long for the flag to come through um and as well as also interestingly enough on one of my on the the last video I had done on Living Corpse, which was his jihad against the Godzilla fan base, he had done a video or a, not a video. He had done a comment where he says, "Don't involve your yourself in fights that that you have no business in." And the reason I'm kind of quoting what he's saying is because of the main fact that well, he deleted his comments, and why is that? Well, it it gives him plausible deniability that. It never happened. Well, actually, I, I think I do actually have the full picture here on my iPad. It says, don't involve yourself in fights that have nothing to do with you, narcissist. You're pathetic. And then he sent me two, he sent two messages before saying, grow up. When I said, all right, debate me, or are you going to still be, uh, be a giant narcissist? And I pretty much I called it pathetic. Because the fact is that he is. His ego is the only reason why he made the video. He hates his subscribers or the ones that at least comment because probably most of them are inactive as it is because he still has this many after trashing them for so long. But, I mean, he even says it two minutes and 30 seconds into this video that the only thing I hate more than rapists and human traffickers or people who lie about rape is trolls. You hate people who say mean words on the internet more than people who sell other people and destroy their lives and, tr and cause 
serious trauma to them or people who accuse others of a terrible, terrible act out of spite for personal gain or anything else. You think trolls, people who say mean words on the internet to hurt your little fifis are worse than that. And I mean, I, I knew a case, a, a rape case had happened close to someone I, I had known and it was terrible. I It was something that still bugs me and upsets me to this day. And for you to, to act so high and mighty and have this giant whopping ego that you feel that you were entitled to views and comments or sharing because you feel like you were doing something good when your subscribers are treated like trash to you. And I mean, you could say, oh, my subscribers are not little angels. I don't care. But to try to try to generalize every single person who has subscribed to you and has probably said a uh, probably watched their content all the way through is downright despicable. And I mean, it took you this long to make a make this video, not um, the start of the new year or a month after you released the video. No, you went through a whole Uncharted series and done a whole bunch of other stuff like Doom, Batman, all of this stuff before you did the video. And you realize, and even I, I looked at looked at those videos, and there's barely any views on them. And it took you this long to make this video. You could have, without any any reason, could have just gone in and said, "Hey, look, really, I really would love for this to have happened. I really would have loved for you guys to have gone on the video." But no, oh, they only care about Godzilla Dai Kaiju Battle Royale. Sod on, mate. Like really, it's stupid. And the reason I, again, he deletes his comments off my last video about him. And he says, don't involve yourself in fights that you have no business in. And then that was last night. And then this morning, I just get out of my computer to look at my YouTube channel. And I see a notification about it. That is absolutely despicable. And it's 3 o'clock right now. And you've just released the second part of your video. And it's titled, The Time Corn Hub Refused to Fight Rape. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna watch that. And if you keep talking about talking bad about subscribers, then or the Godzilla fan base as a whole, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna release another video right after this and call you out on it. So cheers, mate. If you want to debate, you can come debate debate me.